What's happening guys? Got another interview for you. This is a person who was able to get a fully remote digital marketing position. His name is Jim. I'm really excited to do the interview with him. So let's jump right into it today. All right, awesome. Well, hey, thank you so much for coming on the channel, Jim. I really appreciate it. Basically, uh, you know, I kind of wanted you to just tell your story, tell your story of how you were able to land uh, the fully remote position. And for those that don't know, fully remote basically means you can be anywhere in the world if you want to be right. So uh, if you want to work all the way across the world, you can as long as you, you know, are, are doing your job and, and making sure that you're keeping keeping up on everything the company expects uh, from you. So uh, thanks for coming on the channel, Jim. And uh, go ahead and just maybe introduce yourself. Tell us a little bit about yourself and uh, uh, also maybe tell us how you discovered digital marketing. I am based off in New York, NYC. Um, I don't know if anyone that may watch this is from NYC. I'm currently 21 and I started in digital marketing, I guess you could say in, I would say la in the last month of 2019, beginning of 2020. When I found Seth's course uh, at the beginning of 2020, figured out what digital marketing was, but I didn't really take action because at the time I was kind of worried being a college student, focusing 100% on college. But by 2021, um, I actually, I took a leap of faith. I bought uh, Seth's course after going through his uh, mini course because it was a lot of content. It was so much value that honestly, I would recommend to anyone. But um, once I did start, I it took me a while to actually you know, be 100% committed in the course as a college. Um, I started in August 2021. I dedicated 100%, studied, took notes, did every single step that Seth told us to do. And by the time I finished, I guess around November, mid-November, I focused 100% on getting the job and got it within two months, a month and a half, literally the first week of January, <laughs> got a call. And uh, yeah, yeah. Here's where I am today. I'm currently working at a job and it's been here for almost nine months. Wow. All right. That's awesome. So basically it took you about a month and a half, two months after finishing the course uh, to get a job. And then I know you said you sort of weren't committed to the course. You were kind of doing it part time because you were in college. Um, but how long did it take you from the beginning when you first bought the course to when you got that job offer approximately? The beginning would be when I bought the course would be January 2021. But when I like actually start uh, did it full time i guess you could say on august i did it from august all the way to november studied 100 percent dedicated and then like you said uh got a job within a month and a half but it took me from august all the way until like january uh just that that's about it okay and then just kind of taking it back for a moment um how was the course like uh was was there a lot of content was it was it like what did you think of the course in general what did you think about the the group that you become a part of was that really helpful did you find the networking helpful etc uh so with the the whole course um in general it was a lot of content it was a lot of value and i learned so much in such a sh i guess you could say in short time um, but it was so much information, but something that honestly, I would recommend to anyone because learning what I did from that course, just from the course itself with no prior experience in marketing, I learned so much to the point where I actually had a different viewpoint of what to look out for now on social media, YouTube, um, and other platforms as well. But it was a lot of value and the community itself was very, very helpful. Um, I connected with people in, you know, the group itself that Seth provides, but also they were so welcoming to the point where I actually connected with other people outside of the group. Um, and in different groups, they gave me advice. They gave me interview tips. They gave me advice on anything that I had questions for uh, to the point where I, when I actually did everything and I was on the other side, that's how I see it as on the other side of actually getting that first job. I said the same thing. Hey, if you guys need help, do this, uh, reach out to me. I'll give you any advice that I can. And people do reach out to me and it's, honestly amazing because I do like to provide value the way that people provided uh, value to me. The community itself is amazing. Got it. And what do you think in general? Because you mentioned you were in college. So did you finish out your degree or did you kind of, were you kind of just like, man, I got the job now. I'm, I'm good. <laughs> I took a break from college. I thought I was going to take a break, come back, but I didn't finish. And honestly, I didn't really, I would say this in a nice way, I guess you'd say, I just, got out of it that's how i can say it. i just left it i'm like you know what 100 i'm gonna commit 100 to marketing i did and it got me a great return 
Um, something I didn't expect without a degree, honestly. That's one thing I would point out right now. But um, yeah, I didn't finish it. And I really don't mind because the return to me is great. Yeah, and you're you're being very nice about it. You're saying it in a very nice way. I'll I'll go ahead and just come out and say it right here, okay? So there are certain careers out there that, you know, getting a college degree is great for, okay? Undeniably. I've talked about those on my channel. There's other careers where a college degree, it just, it can't keep up with the times, right? So digital marketing is an example of that. A few years ago, even, the way that digital marketing was done is different than the way that it's done now. It, it, it moves, it transitions, it, it, it evolves so fast that there's just no way that college curriculums can keep up with it. Even if they like tried, even if they really tried to keep up with it. But the thing is, is college basically has a monopoly at this point. And so they don't even try to keep up with it basically, <laughs> right? So like if you, you take a marketing degree, for instance, and you wanna go into digital marketing, and you can look this up, just just look up uh, what, what the, the, the classes that you take at the university you're planning on going to. And usually there's only like maybe two classes in digital marketing. Like the, uh, digital marketing is the most valuable skill in marketing by far. Uh, it's the hottest. It's the one that's on the uptrend right now. Yeah, there, there's certain careers where you just absolutely do not need a college degree. And this is something I've, I've kind of just tried to hammer into uh, people's heads on my channel. In terms of uh, the course after you graduated, uh, you were able to get a job. What did you decide to specialize in? Did you decide to specialize in SEO, pay-per-click, uh, social media marketing, search search engine up? Like, what, what did you decide to go into? So with marketing, once I got in, I at first in the beginning, because I had no prior experience, I gave it a shot for both, SEO, PPC. But then uh, once I actually got a first, I guess you could say a client who wanted me to help out because I knew a little bit about marketing and they were impressed. I focused P on PPC. I really enjoyed it. And then once I went to the job, I applied for jobs. I did PPC all the way, Google ads and Facebook ads. And yeah, I, ever since then, I've been doing mostly paid stuff. Uh, no more SEO. But um, yeah, I was doing both at first. And now I did, uh, I'm doing PPC and have been for the past couple of months, actually. Got it. Pay-per-click. And um, that's pay-per-click on uh, Google ads specifically? Google ads, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, awesome. So uh, kind of just in terms of the quality of life, like of, you know, the jobs that you had before you found digital marketing and maybe just like going to college and stuff like that, what, how did your quality of life change when you discovered digital marketing and you got into that career? Before I found marketing, um, it was a completely different lifestyle, I guess you could say. Uh, before marketing, I was you know, just a college student in college, and I was uh, working in Macy's as a stock associate, uh, just working regular hours and you know, going to college. And honestly, I, I felt kind of lost. I'm not going to lie to you. I felt kind of lost. I thought I would be doing something else. I thought, in my opinion, college wasn't the way, in my opinion, to go for it, I'm doing it for four years. And then trying to find a job. And I've heard so many stories about people who takes it, it takes a lot of time to find a job, even, you know, with people that they know or whatever it may be. So once I did find Seth, I was like, all right, I'm going to give it a shot. I, I gave a shot. I gave a shot to the course. And it's completely different now uh, working in marketing because I work from home Monday to Friday uh, with an agency and based off in Idaho, too. So the time zones are very, very different. But they're very, very, it's, I really like the environment and everything. And now that I'm working from home completely, I usually wake up whatever time I want to. I do my own things in the morning. Like, you know, I spend time with my dog, make breakfast, whatever it is. And then I work my hours. And then after that, I just usually just go, you know, somewhere because, uh, you know, I don't have to work long hours, overtime or anything. So it was a completely different lifestyle for me. But um, yeah, it's working from home now. Monday to Friday and it's been great. Let me go ahead and ask the uh, the big question that everybody probably wants to know. And of course, you know, you can share whatever you're comfortable with. Uh, so uh, what kind of salary uh, either did you get or what kind of salary would you expect to get right after, you know, gra uh, finishing the course and getting your first entry level job? So what I would expect after finishing the course, um, in terms of salary, in my opinion, I was expecting maybe 40k to 50k max or maybe 35k to 50k because in my head at the time still i was like i'm starting entry level 
I have no experience or I don't have that much experience. I didn't think I would get where I am today in, base, uh, in terms of salary. Um, that's That was my expectation. And now when I did get the job as an associate at the time, I I had a salary of 45 to, I guess you could say, 52K the year. And they promoted me. And now I have a salary of, I'm going to give you a range, a salary of 55 to 65K the year with bonuses. Got it. Awesome. And that's already just a few months in. You already got a promotion. So that's awesome. And, and you know, the reason that they uh, give people promotions is because if they don't give you a promotion, you're going to be out of there to another company because I've seen people go from like first year to second year. They'll get the work like one year and, you know, they're getting paid 40, 50 K. Then they get a 70 K job their second year, 70, 80 K. And then their third year, they jump up to like 90 to 100 K. And then usually by the fourth year, they, they hit that 100 K mark. So, um, yeah, companies, if, if they want to stay competitive, they have to keep people incentivized and, and give them promotions and everything. So uh, and that's what happens when you go into an in-demand career. You know, like the, the companies are going to treat you better. They're going to pay you better. Um, the, your quality of life is going to be better. It's just everything gets gets better when you go into a career where there's a lot of demand, basically. What would you say to somebody who is kind of on the fence uh, with the course, like they're they're thinking, you know, oh, maybe I should go into digital marketing because, you know, digital marketing, uh, in my experience, is one of those careers where it really does appeal to a lot of different people. Um, whether you're kind of artistic, there's some really good digital marketing roles. Maybe you're super, super analytical. You can kind of get into the data side of things. It's actually pretty easy to transition into more of a data analytics type role. Um, and then every kind of like combination uh, uh, in between, it just seems like there's a lot of positions for almost every single personality type, a introverted, extroverted uh, type people as well. So what would you say to somebody who's kind of on the fence about going into digital marketing uh, and on the fence about uh, purchasing uh, Seth's course? I would say, in my opinion, go for it. <laughs> That's the first thing that comes to my head because... Uh, the amount of opportunities out there, the, that's the first thing I'm going to bring up. The amount of opportunities out there in marketing, in digital marketing is so much because it's not just one related, it's not just one focused, uh, I guess you could say field, like in PPC, Google ads, there's so much out there, SEO, data analytics, like you mentioned, Google, Facebook, you can become a pro in any of those. There's so many opportunities out there. And again, like you said, it's honestly for anyone, you could be an intro, introvert, extrovert. You could be someone who, you know, wants to just be creative and work on you know, Facebook ads, creating different type of, types of ad copy and stuff like that. It's, it's, there's so much opportunity out there and it's a different lifestyle too. If you want a different lifestyle, uh, a high income skill, the way I see it too, this is a great opportunity, digital marketing. Um, but yeah, I would say for Seth's course, go for it. And if you're on the fence, you can go through his reviews and honestly that's one of the things that really convinced me you could go through his reviews his uh interviews with other people his testimonials because then you're going to see it's kind of it's it's 100 legit at first you may think it's not i was on the fence at it i told him i told many people at first i was at the on the fence but then i listened to interviews while working i had my headphones on i would listen to, interview, to the interviews and i got convinced because they seem like legitimate people who had different jobs and different careers come from different parts of the country and they went into marketing and it worked out for them. Absolutely. And I'll have all those links down below. Um, I have like a playlist of, of people that I've interviewed and then um, I'll have also have a link to his free masterclass as well. Um, it really helps to kind of talk about, you know, what exactly is digital marketing? What are the different, you know, verticals you can go into like SEO, pay-per-click, all these different ones. Um, and also just an overview of, of whether the course is a good fit for you. So definitely check out that free masterclass. I'll have it linked down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. And yeah, I, I think that's about it, man. Um, is there anything else you think uh, I should, any pro tips or any other things that I should ask or anything you want to bring up to people? Sure. Pro tips. In terms of pro tips, I would say if you do go for the course, always, in my opinion, once you're in there, reach out to people because they're a friendly community. They will reach out to you if you ask any questions. Honestly, you can reach out to me and I'll honestly try to reply as soon as possible because in terms of everything else, I just genuinely like um, helping out people, giving them tips. I 
if you need help, I'll literally just give you a little voice message. I'm like, hey, do this, this, or this is what I would recommend. So yeah, just if you go for it, just know that you are going to have, you know, a lot of people who are going to be there helping you out soon. You're not alone. <laughs> Got it. All right. Awesome. Well, hey, thank you so much for doing this interview, Jim. Uh, you dropped some definitely some really good knowledge uh, in this interview. I'm sure it's going to help a lot of people out there. Uh, so yeah, thanks for coming on the channel today. I really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you.